Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 121 on SO exam P. So I'll pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assume you're attentive, let's just dive right in. So X represents the age of an insured automobile and we're asked to find the expected age of an insured automobile. So we're basically asked to find the expected value of X. So we know that the expected value of x is, is equal to the negative infinity, infinity of x, whatever x exists on, of the marginal density function of x times x dx. But then we're giving the joint distribution function, so we have to first find what the marginal distribution is. So if f of x is equal to, by the definition of this, this is equal to f of xy, um, dy, integrating whatever the lower limits of y is and in the high limits of y. So the lower limits of y is equal to 0, and the upper limit here is going to be 1 of 1 over 64, 10 minus x y squared dy. So if we integrate in respect to y, this is equal to 1 over 64, it's just a constant, I'm going to throw it outside, and you get 10y minus x y cubed over 3, integrating this respect to y going from 0 to 1. The lower limit just gives you zero, so the, we're just worried about the upper limit. The upper limit here is going to give you, the constant is still the same. So then when you plug in the lower limit, you actually just get zero, so then this is equal to 10 minus x over 3. Alright, so then now we can actually put this f of x, the marginal distribution of x, back in, oh, into our exponential function, or expected value de um, definition. So x is actually going from 2 to 10, so the lower limit, the, the negative infinity of x is just 2 to 10 of 1 over 64, 10 minus x over 3 times x dx is equal to our x with the value. So then when you actually, I'm going to throw the 1 over 64 outside again. So multiplying that x back in, you actually get 10x minus x squared over 3 dx. And so this in taking the antiderivative is equal to x squared 10 over 2 minus x cubed over 9, integrating from 2 to 10. And again, don't forget about the constant sitting outside, 1 over 64. Putting in the numbers here, 1 over 64, when you do 10 squared, that's 100, 100 times, this is just basically 5. That's 500 minus 1,000 over 9 minus, this is equal to 2 squared, that's 4, 4 times 5, that's 20, plus um, 2 cubed, that's 8 over 9. And the thing is, like when you're on the exam, you want to try to do as much of it uh, by hand, so you don't have to type as much into the calculator. But plugging this into the calculator, you get you could approximately equal to 5.777 repeating, which is approximately equal to 5.8, our answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!